Hey there. I bet you can't tell I have a camera in my pocket, can you? Because I have the world's smallest Fujifilm camera in my pocket. how cute it is. Hey guys, Omar here, and yes, Fujifilm's tiniest little tiny camera, the Fujifilm X70, and yes, it's another camera, I know. However, let me explain. First of all, I was super lucky to pick this up at a good price, and the reason I picked it up is because I've been looking through my old photos, Ugh. and I stumbled upon my Fujifilm X100S files, and those files use the X-Trans 2 sensor, and that's the same sensor that's in this camera. Now, I sold my X100S because it was kind of like a terrible autofocus camera, but looking back at the photos, like I got a nostalgic feel of what it felt like when I first bought my Fujifilm. There was something about that X-Trans 2 sensor. Now, it only has 16 megapixels, but I feel like those files have an awesome filmic quality. And the film simulations in this camera are completely different. Provia doesn't look like Provia on my X-T3 at all. And so they look kind of filmic on this. Uh, so the X-Trans 2, let me know in the comments below if you have the X-Trans 2 sensor. That's your X-T1, that's your X-70, X-Pro1 has that sensor. And uh, there's just something special about that sensor. And I had forgotten about it. And of course, looking through my old photos, I'm like, I need an X-Trans 2 sensor. Now I've had the X-70 for like about a week or two and I fooled around with it a little bit. And man, the plus is number one, the size. Number two, the X-Trans 2 sensor. Number three, it has all the buttons and you know, I, I'm just like a broken record on this channel. It has all the buttons and dials. Fujifilm keeps removing all these little buttons, dials, D-pads and all the, it has all of them. And look how small this thing is, you know? It also has the autofocus mode switch right on front. It has a little function button on the side. It has the aperture ring on an 18 millimeter focal length, which was also exciting because I don't own an OT, an OT. This 18 millimeter is kind of unique. Little, I, I kind of like shooting wide. So I enjoy the 18 millimeter focal length. It has a full flip screen if you want to record movies of yourself. I wouldn't do video on this too much. Okay. Can it even focus? But I have done some fun selfies with this. <laughs> so remember, I just made a video that I canceled my XE4. This was one of the reasons I got the X-E4 was for the flip up screen. That's my favorite kind of screen because I like photographing like this and videoing like this. I can't believe Fujifilm has not released like an update to this camera. And it could be that this camera is too good. <laughs> I think it would outsell all the other cameras, the X100, X100V, the X-T lines, the smaller ones, X-T20s. Uh, because if this was, if this had a 24 megapixel sensor with the new technology and the bigger battery in here, this to me would be the perfect Fujifilm street camera because you would look like a little tourist when you walk around. Uh, it can fit in your little jacket pocket. You know what? Maybe they shouldn't update this camera because this X-Trans 2 sensor is so nice and uh, it's just great to grab a little camera and put in your pocket. You know my Fujifilm X-T20. This one is my pocketable camera, but looking at it now, it looks so huge compared to this. Look at this. So this is truly a pocketable camera in the same genre as the GR line or any kind of RX100 from Sony. Uh, so a Fujifilm that fits in your pocket, has a fixed lens, perfect for street, Super slow autofocus. <laughs> you know, the only autofocus mode you need is single autofocus with a single point. As long as you take your time, you can lock autofocus and fire away. I wouldn't shoot any kind of super sports or anything continuous with this. I have noticed that I put it up to my face thinking like I'm gonna shoot with it like with a viewfinder. There is no viewfinder. Recently, I went out where it was super bright and I could barely see the screen. And also my eyes are going as I get older, so I'm like, Argh. 
So it kind of is a little strange to shoot it, but I know I'm going to shoot this camera mostly at uh, f8, 5.6, and snap away street photography. This is the way to shoot this camera. So I look forward to bringing you more little X70 videos. Let me know if you want to see that. If not, I'll just put it away and keep it for me and you'll never see it.